Hey, it's Vanessa the Crafty Gemini. I post weekly how-to video tutorials right here on YouTube, and in this video we're jumping into part two of the Sew Along series for the Peplum Cardigan. Now let's talk about fabrics that we're going to use. My suggestion is going to be to start off with a ponty knit. You can see it's a little bit heavier. This is like a super light. You see how it's almost see-through and it's super thin. And this stuff is a little bit tough to work with, especially if you're using it for the first time. I would not use this for this cardigan, okay? Especially not for a first time garment making. You see, it's really, really thin. And this stuff is going to roll on you. You see how the edge if you tug on it, it rolls back that way. It's going to be a little bit tougher to work with. So this is another thin jersey. It's really springy, but again, it's almost see-through and it's really thin. So I wouldn't use that for this project. Instead, I'm going to suggest a ponty knit. Now this, it does stretch, but it has a lot more body, so it's a lot more stable to sew with. This way, if we stretch it along the lengthwise grain, it doesn't stretch let me see if I can show you here. It doesn't stretch much, but it has a little give. But when you stretch it along the crosswise grain, selvage to selvage, there is more stretch. I got these solid ponty knit fabrics from fabricmartfabrics.com. I'll include a link in the description box below on where you can click on it so you can see what variety they have in stock, what colors, maybe some prints. This one is a little bit springier than the navy one, and it's still a very nice stable knit. So look for something like this. All right, so let's take some notes here. We've decided we're making view C. I need fabric that's at least 60 inches wide, and most knits that you get will be that. If it says 58 inches, it should still work fine. I would get a little bit more fabric just in case because I noticed that the way the pattern pieces are laid out in this pattern, they are a little bit tight to fit into the fabric that it requires here, especially if your fabric does not reach the full 60 inch width, okay? Then I'm working in the medium pattern, and the medium size, I should say. Come down here, I need one and five eighths yards of fabric. So we're gonna go up to two yards, just in case. And as you can see, no matter which of the sizes you're making, the most you'll need is two yards of fabric for view C. Okay, if you're gonna make the longer one, obviously you need more. But the one I'm gonna show you in this sew along is view C. So whether you're an extra small or the 2XL in the, in the sizes that the pattern comes in, the most you'll need is two yards. So I would suggest just go ahead and get two yards of the ponty knit. When you get your two yards of the ponty knit, make sure that you go ahead and wash it in the washing machine and dry it like you would the completed garment, okay? Wash it, press it with a warm iron, not too hot, because if you have a polyester blend, you don't want to get it those shiny streaks on it because it's a synthetic material, okay? So give it a nice warm press just with a warm iron, get it nice and flat, and I'll meet you back here next week for the next installment of this sew along.